Hey y'all, here's a lesson on Chris Stapleton's Mountains of My Mind. He played this on Saturday Night Live about a month ago. thought it was really cool how he could keep that same, basically the same riff going for a whole song, and it stays interesting. But he did play it several different ways, like he had a way to do the intro, made it a little bit more chill, played less notes for the verse so you could focus on the vocals better. When he did the chorus, he changed the feel a little bit. He kind of had one of the chords kind of just drop on its downbeat, which was a little bit different. And then he also had an interlude where he played it, made it more musical and had more notes in it. So it's like the same riff the whole way through this song, but the way he did it, he had at least four different ways of kind of manipulating that to make the parts of the song work just the best, you know? First thing we gotta do on this, we gotta have a, we have an open E tuning on this and a capo on the second fret. So the biggest string would be E, you would make the A string up to a B. You would make the D string up to an E, you would make the G string up to a G sharp, and then you would put a capo on the second fret. You end up with an F sharp major chord. So some of the things involved in this is this kind of boom chick kind of bass chord kind of thing that your thumb can get into. So this would be like the big string and then the two middle strings. So that can all be done with your thumb. So you got like a high finger. You can hit that high string. So you gotta. So that's your basic kind of thing. So what's gonna happen here is he's got this little riff to start it off, which is gonna be the fifth string. You're gonna hammer on to the second fret up to the fourth, you're gonna slide that. Now the same time you're doing that, you're hammering down here on the G string. So it's open and open on the fifth string and third string, to the two and one on the fifth string, third string, to the four and three. And this is, you know, of course, with the capo keeping in mind. We got the hammer on slide thing. And we're gonna go down to that small string open. And then we start that boom chick. And every now and again, you're going to pop one of those in there. So we just took those two notes there and slid them back and got back into our picking pattern. And then. So you had. So you got your fingers hitting on either the middle strings kind of thing. You could use these two fingers if you want. I think he was maybe doing that to get them both to pop loud. But you can also use your thumb to hit them both there. But whenever you have this bottom, bottom, you know you gotta be picking those two particular strings. So you got. Then you got those two strings down at the bottom there at the very end of that bit. Okay, so that's basically the whole thing there. I'll slow this down again. That's your first thing. That's open and open on the fifth and third strings to two and one and to four and three, and then the small string open. So that's your very first thing that's real important. And then you start your boom chick thing, which is like the big string and the two middle strings. Like I say, it's up to you whether you want to kind of do which fingers you want to use in there. You know, could be a lot of variations of that. And sometimes if you hit, you know, like, you hit that note, like, part of the four and three there, instead of those middle ones, it kind of sounds nice too. I don't know if he's really doing that for sure or not, but... And then make sure to wait for that downbeat on that one to be that big string. So it's like... So 
it. So the bass note first, and then the hammer on, and then the high note. Sorry, and then the hammer, and then the low note again, and then the high note. And then the pull off. Back to the boom chick. Down slide. Let's talk about some of the things he does to make the dynamics of him for the different parts of the song. So the beginning. You have a little bit of high notes in there, right? Not a whole lot, though. And I'm not saying that's exact, but when he gets into the verse, he kind of pairs it down to like... Just does the boom chick without any high notes. Or very little. So you can really hear the vocal. Now when he gets into the chorus, he gets into a thing where he plays off the high note a little bit more like a... goes on the downbeat there instead of doing that slide down so it's like a when he gets to the interlude thing I would say it kind of has like more of the high notes, but with like the slidey thing. Some little, little bit of, little bit of these two notes in there too. So that's what I got. Um, Chris Stapleton, Mountains of My Mind. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like and subscribe. Peace out. Talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.